The dashboard can interactively be filtered by anyone looking at it via the filter items and charts present on it. A designer can also add a static filter that cannot be changed by a viewer to either a specific chart or the entire dashboard. By hovering on a chart and clicking on the data button at its top right corner, an add filter button will appear. This button opens the manage filters modal for that chart. Click on new filter and then you can first select your desired column, choose the type of filter you want, and then add or select the needed values. You can add as many filters as you want. With the FX icon at the right end of the filters, you can select or even create a parameter to provide the value of the filter. This is particularly useful when embedding, as the parameters can be specified for each user when requesting their SSO token. This is covered in more detail on the Embed Dashboards Using SSO Losmo Academy course. After configuring the filters, we can apply them through the button on the bottom right. By clicking the Settings button that appears when hovering over a chart item, the sidebar will change to the Edit Item menu for that chart. Here, you will be able to modify several settings on the chart's appearance. You will also find a section on interactivity to specify how the chart will react when clicking on the various elements, allowing you to define links, drill downs, custom events, and many other options. When hovering over a chart, you will also see the clone button. By clicking on it, a copy of the chart will be placed in an empty space in your dashboard. And this copy will have the same filters and data as the original. With the last of these four buttons, you may delete the chart. Notice that this does not ask for confirmation, but a pop-up will appear for 8 seconds allowing you to undo the action. You may also use the version history to return to a previous version of your dashboard if you delete something by mistake. Last but not least, when hovering over a chart, either while editing or viewing a dashboard, a download button appears, unless this button has been disabled in the chart settings. With this button, you may download the information shown in the chart as either a CSV or Excel table or a PNG file. This button also gives the user the ability to configure an email or instant messaging alert when triggering criteria is observed in the underlying data. To set an alert, first set the name, criteria and filters, then specify how often this will be checked and which channels to send it to.